What's up and what's happening? Back out again, little ATS video. Uh, and today we have obviously got something quite different going on. Um, if you've been watching the videos, I've been wondering about the logging stuff for a second, and I didn't really understand like where, like what type of freight you gotta get into to get to this stuff. I figured there would be like some uh, some oversized stuff coming out of here, stuff on RGN, stuff like that, but never really ran into anything so I figured <laughs> I figured if I pick up a log trailer uh, that would probably put me in good shape to end up at a, at a log mill and here we are uh, got me a little FLD action going Oop, parking brake wasn't on anyways but wait a minute, where do they want this thing but I had an FLD a little while ago and this is not the same one um, <clears throat> when 3.7 came out uh, it kind of messed up that mod a little bit along with the I think I had like a 351 or something like that Peterbilt and uh, It it just messed with the sounds of it. So the engine packs that I was running apparently uh, Didn't <laughs> they didn't really jive with being in 3.7 very well, which is fine, but uh, since I got the uh, a new engine pack for 3.7 then figured I would bring the, the old FLD back for the uh, <laughs> the log hauling situation. Uh, I mean, you think about it, especially down south, uh, since I do this in real life, I <laughs> kind of understand what people are driving all the way around the country. Uh, especially down south, it seems like you, you run into like a lot of Columbias and FLDs and you know just older, cheaper trucks that are running around hauling logs got a little cargo but yeah that that just seems to be the case so I figured you know FLD pretty much sums it up and uh, I do have a soft spot for the FLD so there's that but this stuff is headed down <coughs> a little bit further in Oregon right now we are uh, some <laughs> somewhere in Oregon I can't remember in particular but uh, this stuff's heading a little bit further south the overall plan is to end up with another shop in Southern California um, like I've been saying, just, you know, kind of trying to get a little four corner situation going on where, uh, I got a, got a shop in every, every corner of the map, even though it's not really a, a box or anything like that, but you kind of get what I'm saying. It's just kind of having something, something in any direction, uh, just in case I want to pull a different type of freight in a different type of area, just to have all that set up, uh, would be quite nice, um. Now the account I had uh, before I <laughs> deleted it accidentally, um, I was actually doing pretty all right on that whole little situation. Wait a minute, hold the phone. Uh, is this the right road or not? I feel like I came up this road. No, no, I didn't. Well, we'll just we'll just pitter and patter down here and see where that ends up. Um. But yeah, I had it going pretty good, and <laughs> evidently, uh, it's been a little, I don't know, I like to drive different stuff, and I don't like to go in the same areas, so it's like, you know, it seems like every video I do, it's like, I, I kind of want a different truck for it, I don't really want to use the same dang thing, but the plan for the FLD is to kind of bring that thing down to, uh, SoCal, and, uh, figure something out as far as a shop goes, well, this didn't work out too bad at all. Got a nice little area to flip around at. But yeah, that's kind of the freight that I was talking about. I figured there'd be a lot of stuff like that. And I didn't know if it'd be in Washington or Oregon or what. But I just never really ran across it. I don't know if I just wasn't looking properly or what the deal was. But uh, evidently I never really ran across it. But um, yeah, the the <laughs> they did a real good job on the, the whole logging road situation. Uh, Basically, as soon as I got off the interstate, it was like, oh, you still got 70 miles to go. And it's like, what? What do you mean 70 miles? And uh, it's taking me back through the twisties and turnies and uh, takes me to this uh, dirt dirt road. Uh, in real life, I believe they're called purchase load. No, lease roads. That's what they call them because they're like leasing the area or whatever. But just a temporary road to build in so you can get to everything that's in there. And uh, they're... <laughs> They're real bumpy. I did come up here in the high range. I'm not here to lie to you. Uh, I was just hauling it. And uh, it was quite bumpy. 
and just a little bit disgusting, but um, I think I'll come down at a at a reasonable pace. Be able to look at the FLD all loaded up. Got the log rack on, or what did they call it? I think it was called a log rack on the front of the trailer there. Um, if it would have had one, I would have put a, uh, like a headache rack on the front. You know how, you know, some logging trucks, if you, if you Google it or whatever, you'll see what I'm talking about, where it's like, they got, uh, like gates, or it, it looks like a gate, essentially, on the back of their truck, so, <laughs> basically logs don't come through, uh, the back of the sleeper and join them in the passenger seat, uh, which makes a fair amount of sense, but I guess that, uh, log rack I got in there pretty much achieves the same situation, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to get a little cruise south going down here and uh, get a little time lapse going, all that good stuff. So I will catch y'all on the under there, other end of that one. Well, now we're getting into the real deal nitty gritty of the uh, <laughs> little southbound Oregon trip here. Uh, as you can see, it's just kind of high plains, whatever you want to go with there. If I can get my camera straight, I ain't too fancy. I don't have uh, <laughs> all that, uh, you know, what do they call that? It's like some sort of tracking situation that you put like on top of your monitor or whatever. I don't really got all that. I just got a D pad on my. Uh, whatchamacallit, on my wheel. Actually, I'm gonna pull into this rest area just because it's getting a little late <clears throat> and uh, I don't really wanna be driving through the night that doesn't make for all that great of a video. Jake's on this thing sound pretty darn good. Uh, it's a little 600 horse Detroit, which uh, kinda <laughs> follows in line with the whole FLD theme. Uh, when you think FLD, you think Detroit. No? Am I wrong there? Well, if we can get a gear. Could be hitting that guy. Um, is it gonna let me park right here? I don't think it's gonna. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to move over a little bit. See how it's got that uh, little marker sitting there? 
or whatever on the map. Seems like it only it only really lets you park in certain spots and take a nap. So I guess we'll get over there and uh, get it all figured out. Alrighty, so we're coming in hot on our uh, delivery point down here in uh, Southern Oregon. And this this whole area is bringing it back for me. Uh, this is all very reminiscent of uh, back when I was a little baby truck driver. Uh, just learning how to do things. Nice blinker, bro. Oh, just kidding, he had it on. Anyways, but yeah, brings me right back to <laughs> when I was still being trained, actually. Uh, me and my trainer went all the way out to Oregon and back. Um, I can't remember what we brought out there. I can't remember what we brought back, but I do remember what we saw, and it was kind of similar to this, where it was just kind of cruising back roads. And uh, I, don't, I remember stopping in a place that was very similar to uh, that last little piece, you know, the outside view or whatever. It was very similar to that, um, where it was just kind of rolling hills and uh, not... <laughs> not much anything going on which uh is fairly common but um yeah that that was interesting um that this game seems to do that to me sometimes where it's like brings you right back to uh back in the dizzy uh of running out west and stuff like that or the, the couple of times that i've been out west even i haven't been out west that many times in real life um just a couple two tree you know or no just two actually <laughs> i'm lying uh deep rope isn't that where i picked this stuff up at interesting anyways so got the delivery point all lined up i can't remember where i picked this stuff up at or where it's delivering like specifically uh like we're talking um city names here oh well this says lakeview right on the gps dude <laughs> if you could just figure your life out once in a while we would appreciate that now where in the world do you want this over there all right i think i can manage that we'll uh i, I am about 90 percent sure that i'm messing my life up right now uh just by going over here it seems it seems like every time i, I think i got it figured out it's like oh no you should have come in backwards and oh okay well i'll turn around then Wait, wait, wait a, wait a minute. Now what are you talking about? Hold on. Oh, we were supposed to go down there. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I told you what I say. I said that I was messing it up. <laughs> and sure enough, was I not messing it up? Evidently, we're going in reverse. So that means you messed something up. Um, let's see. Get ourselves situated here. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, okay. 
I guess it wants us to go through here. Well, it says that this area is like clear. Like if you look on the GPS or whatever, those darker spots are where buildings are at, but then the lighter spots is where really nothing is at. So I guess you can drive through here. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> maybe I was supposed to go a different direction, but none seem like it. Okay, so right over here, we can see our delivery situation. This is kind of a strange little corner. But this is definitely some lumberyard stuff. Uh, <laughs> even these days, I, I haul a lot of lumber. And uh, it just, it always seems like, they, they always like cram stuff into the maximum. And they, <laughs> they leave you just enough room to get around in there. Uh, so you gotta kind of be careful of what you're doing and watch, uh, watch your step, so to speak. Um, but yeah, see, I, I think I can just pull right through this little, um, bay situation or whatever the deal is over here. Um, oh, well, kind of messed my life up here. Yeah, that's not, I don't feel that confident about that. Um, especially with my trailer being so far to the left yet. Um, it's kind of pointing the wrong way to do what I want to do right now. We'll just do some shimmying. Pull this John over here. I don't actually know how long this trailer is. I want to say that it said that it was like a 40 footer. Um, it does seem slightly shorter than a normal trailer. I know there are some dumpsters to my right. Oh, well I wasn't even close. Not dumpsters or crates. Anyways, but um, yeah, it seems a little bit shorter than a normal trailer. We're talking 48 foot, 53 in the game anyways. Um, it seems like the turning physics, physics are still a little bit off anyhow from uh, real life, even if you got a 53 or 40, 48. Um, but they, they aren't too far off, that's for sure. Uh, it's all pretty accurate. But yeah, now we're pointed the right way. I guess I couldn't get... Uh, quite the best look at that little situation in there. Didn't know there's a hole in the ground. Uh, that would have been cool to know in advance, but that's the way it could come sometimes. Um, what was I just supposed to say? Oh yeah! How I kind of got lucky with that whole uh, <laughs> little nap that I took there. Usually that doesn't happen where I'll take a nap and it'll wake me up at like 3 in the morning and it's like, oh great, I get to run through the through the dark, I don't really like to do that with uh, videos and all that. It's just kind of, you don't have anything to look at. Like, what's the point? You know what I mean? But got lucky with all that stuff. And uh, I also turned up my brightness. I don't, I'm sure that you couldn't notice it um, before, like when the sun was still coming up and all that good stuff. Just because it's still fairly dark and there's, even when the sun was at our back, you couldn't really see um, exactly what was going on and all that good stuff. But Hopefully that sort of helped things out uh, just by watching, you know, editing and all that stuff. Uh, kind of realized that things were <laughs> a little dark. So hopefully that helped things out a little bit. Uh, I might have to crank it up a little bit even still. But uh, yeah, that would be the trip with the new uh, little log trailer FLD setup. Um, I am almost certain that I'm going to have to ditch the log trailer to make it down to LA. But we will see what happens there maybe i can keep it maybe i can't who knows but uh yeah that'd be about all for this video appreciate you riding with me on this one and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye